फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट वी स्पीक ऑफ फ्रीडम एंड ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी बट दीज वर्ड्स टूडे डू नोट मीन जस्ट वट दे मेंट सम ईयर्स एगो फॉर इंस्टांस वेन द वर्ड डेमोक्रेसी फर्स्ट केम इन टू बींग इट डिड नोट मीन दैट एवरीबडी हैड द राइट इट मेंट दैट there were a few privileged people who had the right and the vast majority of people who did not but through the ages the meaning of the words changed and nobody today will accept that limited meaning and today all the protest movements in the world are because some group or the other feels that those people whether they are black or brown whether they are women or young people are not enjoying their rights which should be there under democracy this is why these protest movements begin and gather strength so in india we are trying to evolve a way in which we can change the society so that little by little those who have been under privileged through the ages are able to be equal citizens firstly i think this is necessary for human dignity for democracy for freedom but apart from that from the very practical point of view it is equally important because if it does not happen then there will be tension and nobody will be able to prosper and will not have the kind of stable society in which there can be economic progress india has in the past years progressed a great deal from independence right up to 2010 our progress was quite spectacular in 1962 we had a conflict on our borders with china and our attention was diverted from development to defense and a lot of money which should have been used for very essential roads schools and other items was used to strengthen our army because up till then we had just now given a single thought to the defense of the country in 1965 we had another conflict this time with pakistan and we had barely recovered from this heavy expenditure we had terrible drought for 3 years it hardly rained and suddenly we were faced with near famine conditions but it speaks of the courage and endurance of the people and their will to cooperate that even though the situation was so dark we were able to prevent 
death through famine and are grateful for the help that we received but of course the situation is never so simple and we now have a new sense of security our agricultural production as i said is very good formerly we were paying attention merely to that people would eat now we are able to do research in other farm projects which are called cash crops in industry also our productions has trebled the number of children going to school is now very much greater about 180 million our experience has been that every problem solved means a set of new problems sometimes the same in different shape and sometimes quite different one now because education has expanded and industry has not kept pace we have a very serious problem of what we call the educated unemployed young people with a degree and not enough jobs for them some of the fault is of our education because it is of such a general nature that our young people are not really prepared to face the challenges of the contemporary world and also most of them would like to have a secure job whereas gradually they must be much more resourceful take initiative and try to find make opportunities and openings for themselves today we sometimes have many areas where there is shortage of teachers of doctors and even of engineers and at the same time there are engineers doctors and teachers who are unemployed because many of our young people do not want to go to the villages or the mountains or to the forest areas so many conflicting situations have existed but i have doubt that it is a part of the phase of development through which we have to go and just as we have been able to solve other problems these problems will also be solved so far as employment is concerned we have what we call crash programs that is we give top priority to certain schemes they are not going to employ everybody but even if it makes a small dent in the number of unemployed we feel something has been achieved so india is going ahead in every direction our last elections have given country a new sense of unity a new sense of cohesion and a new direction what was extraordinary about these elections was not that a 
पोलिटिकल पार्टी वोन अ बिग मेजोरिटी बट दैट दी ओर्डिनरी पीपल पीपल हु हैड नेवर बोदर्ड अबाउट पोलिटिक्स पीपल हु हैड नोट वोटिड समाइम इन अर्लियर इलेक्शंस टुक दिस एज देयर कैंपेन वी हैड मैनी यंग पीपल हु वर्कड ओल डे इन फैक्ट्री और इन ऑफिस और समवेयर एल्स एंड हु गेव अस देयर माइट स्टॉप